Sheikh Mohammed Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid, the Sharih of the Matan, he says, Wa'alam no, and Nahada Tagayura, that the changing that occurs, what changing is he referring to? He's talking about the changing of the ending of the word. Yang Qasimu, it is categorized, it is divided into ila qismaini to two types. So the changing that occurs at the ending of the word, it divide it, it is categorized into two. It is categorized into, into two. Um, the first one is lafdiyin, and the second one is taqdiriyin. So the first one is lafdi, and the second one is taqdiri. فَأَمَّا الْلَفْضِيُّ فَهُوَ And the one which is lafdi, it is مَا لَا يَمْنَعُ مِنَ النُّطْقِ بِهِ مَا لَا يَمْنَعُ مِنَ النُّطْقِ بِهِ مَانِعٌ كَمَا رَأَيْتَ فِي حَرَكَاتِ الدَّالِ مِنْ مُحَمَّدٍ وَحَرَكَاتِ الرَّائِ مِنْ يُسَافِرُ it is that which it doesn't prevent you from its utterance. مَا لَا يَمْنَعُ مِنَ النُّطْقِ بِهِ The pronunciation of it, nothing stopping you from it. You can pronounce it. As you saw, كَمَا رَأَيْتَ As you saw, فِي حَرَكَاتِ الدَّالِ The dal. حَذَرَ مُحَمَّدٌ رَأَيْتُ مُحَمَّدًا مَرَرْتُ Muhammadin. Look at the Muhammad. The Dal is nothing's preventing you or nothing stopping you from what? Nothing stopping you from actually pronouncing it and saying it. And the word Yusafiru. Yusafiru the Ra in Yusafiru. You can pronounce the what? You can pronounce the Ra. The the changing. You can utter it. Nothing is preventing you from it. Yusafiru Ibrahimu. Lan Yusafira Ibrahimu. Lam yusafir Ibrahimu. The word yusafiru, yusafira, yusafir. Is there anything that prevented you from pronouncing the last haraka, the situation of it? No. This is called lafdi, meaning you can pronounce it. And what I want you to understand, all of you brothers, is that. The ones that are lafdi, meaning you can pronounce the changing and the ending of the word, are those who are not the ending wow, alif, or ya. Anything that is not wow, alif, ya, it is not. It's lafdi. The ending of the word. Now we're going to move on to the, the other one, which is called what? At taqdiriyu. Taqdiri is the one you can't pronounce. It's implicit. Whereas lafzi, it is what? Explicit. The implicit changing. It is something prevents you from pronouncing the difference, the changing. So, pay attention. You said, Ja'a Muhammadun. Muhammadun. Ra'aytu Muhammadan. Marartu bi Muhammadin. Change the word Muhammad to Musa. Ja'a Musa. Ra'aytu Musa. Marartu bi Musa. Musa, you can't, you cannot utter the ending. This is called taqdiri. This is called what? It's taqdiri. And it's three letters. Wow, alif, and ya. Wow, Alif, and Ya, and they're called Huruf Al-Illah. What are the things that prevent it? What are the things that prevent it? Three things prevent it. Three things are what? Prevented. The first one is Mani'un Min Ta'adhur. The first one is called Ta'adhur. Ta'adhur means if the ending of the word is Alif. Such as the word Al Fata Al Asa. Are you with me? The word Al Fata Ja Al Fata Ra'aytul Fata 
ايوه مي مررت بالفتى فتى doesn't change هي what do you say you say منع من ظهورها التعذر what prevented it being explicit is what what's preventing it التعذر تعذر is what prevents it we're going to go into more understanding of that later inshallah ta'ala the second one is what او استثقالي استثقال is if the ending is a ya آخره ya if the ending is a ya is استثقال such as القاضي أما الداعي are you with me for example what do you say you say جاء القاضي منع من ظهورها الاستثقال what prevented it استثقال that is استثقال if it's the ending is the what yeah the next one is المناسبة أو أو مناسبة مناسبة is what if it's يا but it's يا المتكلم يا المتكلم is the يا of the person who's speaking about so if you say غلامي كتابي ها are you with me غلامي my boy غلامي هي منع من ظهورها what prevented هي المناسبة تعذر means what now تعذر means when you give excuse is as though the alif gave excuse. And we're going to go into it later, inshallah ta'ala. Huh? We're going to go into it later. That the alif in all of the harakat, all of the harakat, whether it's wow, whether it's alif, oh, sorry, whether it's dhamma, whether it's fatha, or whether it's kasra. Are you with me? The alif never accepts it. It's excused. It gave a reasoning. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Are you with me? The second one is called al-istithqal. Istithqal means what? It means it's heavy on it. Are you with me? And it's the ya. Are you with me? The ya. When is it istithqal? Only twice. Only twice is istithqal. When are the twice is that it's istithqal? When it's dhamma and kasra. Istithqal. Other than that, no. The ya al ya the ya which is al mutakalim which is the last one which is the ha al munasiba al munasiba sorry al munasiba is what is the sound of the ya? Can you pronounce a ya before it being a what? Another haraka other than the kasra because the sound of the ya is what? Yi, it's a kasra sound. So it is befitting that the, harak, the word before it, which is gulam, that the meme takes the kasram. Lil munasaba. It's befitting. They befit each other. Because ya is about to come, the meme takes the kasram. So they go together. This is what munasaba means. I will see, inshallah ta'ala, the author is going to mention all of that. وَأَمَّا التَّقْدِيرِيُّ مَا يَمْنَعُ مِنَ التَّلَفُّضِ بِهِ مَانِعٌ مِنْ تَعَذُّرٍ One. أَوْ إِسْتِثْقَالٍ Two. أَوْ مُنَاسَبَةٍ Three. تقول you say, يَدْعُ الْفَتَى وَالْقَاضِي وَغُلَامِي All three of them are there now. التعذر is there. استثقال is there. المناسبة is there. Are you with me? يَدْعُ يَدْعُ is what? It's a fi'l mudari'ah. What's the alama of fi'l mudari'ah if there is not adawat al-jazm or adawat al-nas before it? مرفوع, right? So we say يَدْعُ مَرْفُوعٌ Why is it مرفوع? لِتَجَرُّدِهِ مِنَ النَّاسِبِ وَالْجَزِمِ Adawat al-jazm and adawat al-nasb are not there. Fata. Are you with me? Marfu'un. Fata is marfu', right? Why is it marfu'? Because he say, fa'il. Likonihi fa'ilan. Qadhi and ghulami are both marfu' as well. Why are they both marfu'? Because they are ma'tufani ala al-fa'il al-marfu'i. They are both attached. Huh? They are both attached to what? It's ma'tuf. And the ma'atuf, the at follows the ma'atuf, alayh. Very good. But the question here is, وَلَكِنَّ الضَّمَّةَ لَمْ تَظْهَرْ فِي أَوَاخِرِ هَذِي الْكَلِمَاتِ All of those words, they are marfu' but the dhamma didn't become apparent on it. Why did it not become apparent on fata? لِتَعَذُّرِهَا فِي الْفَتَى The fata, the reason why, it is because 
التعذر and when do we say that فتاة is فتاة is ألف right is تعذر are you with me يدعو is what يدعو is وثقلها it's heavy on it so the uh, anything that the ya is ending or a wow it's ending both of them are what وثقلها في يدعو in the word يدعو it's heavy to say on يدعو um, وفي القاضي are you with me what does it mean heavy you can say it but it's very heavy to say it if you want you can say يدعو you can't say it are you with me but it's what it's thiqal, it's heavy on the tongue. It doesn't flow off easily. Look what you have to do. When you say it, يدعو How many effort I went through to say it? It's a lot of effort. So it is thiqal, it's heavy. The same way, القاضي <coughs> Get effort. If you just said القاضي, it'll be easier for you. So it can be said, but it's what? Thiqal, it's heavy. You can't say if you want to, but it's thiqal. وفي القاضي as well. So يدعو and قاضي, both of them are what? Thiqal. ولأجل مناسبة يا المتكلم في غلامي. And غلامي is what? غلامي is يا المتكلم is there. So it is what? هي is لأجل مناسبة. And we mentioned that. فتكون ضم مقدرة. All of them now, what did, what did we say? Wow, ألف أن يا. All of them, what do we say? The dhamma is muqaddaratun ala akhir al-kalimati that it is what? It is muqaddar, is implicit. It's not explicit. It's implicit on the ending of all of those words. But what prevented it? Mana'a min zuhuriha ah. Mana'a min zuhuriha either at-ta'adhur or with-thiqal or ishtigal al-mahalli bi harakat al-munasabati which is munasabah. Wa taqulu, for example, you say lay yarda al-fata wal-qadi wa gulami وتقول إن الفتى وغلامي لفائزان وتقول بررت بالفتى وغلامي والقاضي أي with me look at it now look at it now it's في حالة النصب because the land is before it أي with me يرضى فتى قاضي غلام all of them are what they are في حالة النصب يرضى is منصوب why is it منصوب because the land went before it الفتى it is what الفتى is a فاعل forget it والقاضي والغلامي did the word يرضى change did the word يرضى change not at all did the word فتى إن الفتى did the فتى change no it didn't مررت بالفتى did it change إذا the word فتى in all of situation one time we went through حالة النصب it didn't change حالة الجر it didn't change حالة الرفع إن لن يرضى الفتى فتى هي is a فاعل it's marfu' the, the dhamma is not apparent. Inna al-fata ismu inna is mansub. It didn't accept the, uh, uh, the fatha. Marartu bil fata jar ana majrur harfu jar is before it. It didn't accept the kasra. Are you with me? It did not accept that. It didn't accept it. Why? Because it is ta'adhur. It will never accept any one of them. Are you with me? The alif never accept any one of them. The Sheikh is going to now say to you, فَمَا كَانَ آخِرُهُ أَلِفًا Anything that the ending is the alif, لَازِمَةً which is consistent on it, تُقَدَّرُ عَلَيْهِ جَمِيعُ الْحَرَكَاتِ All of the harakat, it is implicit. Just like you saw in the word, لَنْ يَرْضَ الْفَتَى فَتَاسْ بَتُ بِمَرْفُوعُ It is fa'il, marfu' and alamat rafi, dhammatun, zahiratun, la, la, dhammatun, muqaddaratun, fi akhiri, mana'a min zuhuriha, at-ta'adhu. إن الفتى الفتى اسم إن منصوب وعلامة نصبه الفتحة المقدرة على آخره منع من ظهورها التعذر مررت بالفتى الفتى مجرور وايزت اسم مجرور وعلامة جره الكسرة هاي وايز الكسرة منع من ظهورها التعذر all of those situations it doesn't accept it it is تعذر فما كان آخر ألفا if the ending is alif, lazimatan tuqaddaru alayhi jami'u al-harakat. All of the harakat are muqaddar, implicit. Why lakin? Lita'adhur. Forever. Wa yusamma lismu. The ism is then called 
المنتهى بالالف الف الف ده اسم ده فينيشز ويز ذا الف از كول الف المقصوره از كول الف المقصوره ساتش از الفتى والعصا والحجا والرحى والرضا الف مقصوره وما كان اخره يا ان اني ثينج ذات ذا اندنج اوف ات از ا يا لكن نو الف تستعب اتس ا يا لازمه ويتش از اولويز لايك ذات تقدر عليها الضمه والكسره للثقل اه ذا ضمه And the kasra are the ones that are implicit. The dhamma and the kasra are the ones that are implicit. Uh, but the fatha is a what? The fatha accepts it. Lithikari. Wa yusamma lismu al-muntaha bil yai mangusan. This is called, the yai is called yai mangusa. Are you with me? Wa tadharu alayha al-fatha. The fatha will become apparent on it. Likhifatiha because it's very light. So for example, you say, Al-Qadi, Wal-Da'i, Wal-Ghazi, Wal-Sa'i, Wal-Ati, Wal-Rami. And even the word yad'u. In the Quran, Allah wa ta'ala, the wow is, the wow has the fatha on it. What did Allah say in Surah Al-Kaf? Lan-Nad'u'wa. Lan-Nad'u'wa min dunihi ilahan. Lan-Nad'u'wa. The wow has a fatha on it. He accepts it. Because it's thiqal. The only two it doesn't accept is what? Dhamma'na kasara. But the fatha is apparent on it. Li khiffatiha because it's very light. The fatha is a light word. You see? Wa ma kana mudhafan ila ya'im mutakallim. Anything that attributed to a ya' al-mutakallim. Like my house. You know, the ya' of ownership. Tuqaddaru alayha al-harakatu kulluha lil-munasaba. All of the harakat are muqaddar. Why? Because of the munasaba. So you say, Gulami, Kitabi, Sadiqi, Abi, Ustadi, all of the harakat cannot show on it because of the munasaba. The ya is about to come, the ya is about to come, and it's befitting before it for it to be a kasala there. Are you with me? Very good. We brothers, we finished Al-I'rab, which is the grammatical analysis, I'rab. Now before I leave I'rab, brothers, before I leave I'rab, it is important that I, as a side benefit, that I mention something very important, which is, um, we've just taken, when we're speaking about kalam, we took three things. Even though we said that it's not kalam, but it's what? Kalima. Isim, fi'il, and a what? A harf. We took an isim, fi'il, and a harf. And that was the order that the author brought it in. Isim, fi'il, and a harf. The isim, Isim, we will categorize it and divide it into three, inshallah ta'ala. The isims of three types. Isim, zahir, an apparent, huh? or as they say, proper noun. The isim, zahir, Muhammad, al-shajara, al-bayt, all of those are asma, which are apparent. The second one is called isim, mudmar, it's a pronoun. Huwa, hiya, huma, hum, hunna. Anti, anti, antuma. The dhamair, the three types of the dhamair. Al-mukhatabah, al-ghaib, al-mutakallim, al-mutakallim. Ana wa nahnu is a mutakallim. The, ana, sorry, anta, anti, antum, ana, anta, anti, antuma, antum, antunna, is mukhatabah. The ghaib is what? Huwa, hiya, huma, hum, hunna. They are what? Dhamair which are? Bama'ir which are ghaib. Those three categories. All of them are what? A type of noun. The third one is called asma' which are mubhama. Ambiguous nouns. Meaning it doesn't, it's not owned by a particular individual. And it's two only in the Arabic language. Ism ishara and ism mawsoola. Ism ishara, hadha and hadhihi, haulai, all of those. And the next one is الذي التي اللاتي الذين all of them they are what اللذاني they are what اسم موصولة there so the noun is all three types the noun is how many types three from the three types that I mentioned from the noun the only type of the noun which falls under the heading or the chapter of إعراب is which one اسم ظاهر اسم ظاهر اسم مظهر is the only one that falls under i'rab we don't do grammatical analysis on a pronoun 
and we don't do a grammatical analysis of, on what? An ambiguous noun, which is ismu ishara and ism mawsula. We don't do i'rab of it. Nor do we do i'rab of what? Nor do we do i'rab of a pronoun. The dhamair, whether it's a mutakallim, whether it's a mukhatab, whether it's a ghaib, we don't do i'rab of it. It doesn't fall under i'rab. Are you with me? The only, na- the only type of noun that we do i'rab of is what? The only type that we do i'rab of is a ism mudhar. Are you with me? Good. The verb, how many types did we categorize it into? The verb, we divided it into the three types. Fi'il madhi, fi'il mudari, and fi'il amar. Fi'il madhi and fi'il amar, they are not i'rab. They don't fall under the chapter of i'rab that we're talking about. We don't grammatically analyze them. We do not analyze what? Fi'il madhi and a fi'il amar. Never grammatically are they analyzed. So the, which one is the only one that's analyzed grammatically? The only one that's grammatically analyzed is what? Fi'il mudari. Fi'il mudari is grammatically analyzed. And it's only grammatically analyzed when it stays away from two things. It, for it, it has to stay away from two things. We're going to come to it later, inshaAllah ta'ala. If it falls in, if it, Noon al-Tawqeed, I'm a Noon niswa if it connects to the fi'il mudari', it becomes what? It does not become i'rab anymore. It loses i'rab. Other than that, it is mu'rab. It falls under grammatical, grammatically analyzed. Wadah, crystal clear? A harf. We took the three types of harf the author brought it before, remember? Harf which was what? Mushtarakun bayna al-asma'i wa al-af'al. Mukhtassu bil asma'i and mukhtassu bil af'al. Those are the three types. All of them are not grammatically analyzed. A harf is never i'rab. So now we're left with only two things that we do i'rab of. A proper noun or an apparent noun, ism which is mudhar, and a fi'l mudari'ah. As long as it stays away from the nunu tawqeed, the nunu, niswa. Is that crystal clear? From the two huh, come out types. Ism mudhar, ism mudhar, ism mudhar, which is a proper noun, singular noun, singular noun comes out of it. So a singular noun, a proper singular noun, a dual, singular noun, the three types of plurals, jamu dhakri salib, jamu anat salib, and jamu taksir. So look at it gradually how I'm doing it. I started from the singular, and then I went dual, and then I went plural. I've got that. And then I mentioned what? Asma'u al-Khamsa. Asma'u al-Khamsa. Those six come out from the what? Those six are the ones that come out of the isim, the noun, which is what? Their proper noun. Those six are grammatically analyzed. It comes out from which? Where does it come out from? Ism Mufrad. Sorry, it comes out from Ism Mufrad, sorry. One more time. Ism Mufrad, Busanna, which is the dual, Jam'u al-Mudakkar al-Salim, Jam'u al-Mu'annath al-Salim, Jam'u al-Taksir, and Asma'u al-Khamsa that we're going to come to. The Fi'il Mudari' only two come out of it. The Fi'il Mudari' only two come out of it. What are the two that come out of it? <coughs> الفعل الفعل المضارع الذي لم يتصل بآخره شيء فعل المضارع التي لم يتصل بآخره شيء فعل المضارع الذي التي سوي التي لم يتصل بآخره شيء. That's one. The second one that comes out of it is أمثلة الخمسة. يفعلون تفعلون يفعلان تفعلان تفعلين أمثلة الخمسة. We don't want to call it أفعال الخمسة. أمثلة الخمسة. Crystal clear? How many do you have in total now? We have the six that were from the اسم مظهر and the two that were from the the two that were from the فعل مضارع. We have eight in total. Those eight are the only eight that are grammatically analyzed. If you ever hear إعراب, those are the eight. Okay? What about the rest that you were saying that they're not Arab? They're not Arab. Where did they go? Which ones are you referring to? 
I'm refer the person would say I'm referring to where did uh, all of harf go? So what do we do with harf? If we don't grammatically analyze it, then what do we do with it? Fi'il madi and a fi'il amr. You say they're not grammatically analyzed. So where do they go? So the three types of what? Harf. The three types of the harf. Good. And the two part the types that were remaining from the noun, which is the mummar, the pronoun, and the mubham, which was ambiguous, five. Hey. And the huh? and the uh, the fi'l. You how many types of fi'l did we not fi'l madi and fi'l amr? Are you with me? So these seven, what do we do with it if we don't grammatically analyze it? This is where we're going to talk about it. They do something known as bina. They are mabni. They are not mu'rab. What are they? They are mabni. This is where it goes. Is it crystal clear everything I'm saying? Is it crystal clear? Very good. al bina So we're going to now go into al bina So we have to have a good understanding and a good comprehension of the i'rab. al bina وَيُقَابِلُ الْإِعْرَابَ What is opposite to the i'rab is al bina The bina is the opposite to i'rab. وَيَتَّضِحُ كُلُّ وَاحِدٍ مِّنْهُمَا تَمَامَ لِلْتِضَاحِ بِسَبَبِ بَيَانِ الْآخَرِ He said, it becomes apparent and it becomes clear. It becomes clear. All of them, it will properly be clear. تمام الاتضاح بسبب بيان الآخر When you mention the reason uh, of the other, the clarification of the reason of the other. He'll tell us what it is, inshallah. وقد ترك المؤلف And he said, the author, he left بيان البناء to clarify what بناء is. ونحن نبينه But we're going to clarify it. Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid is saying, that Ibn Ajurrum, he's the mu'allif of the book, he didn't mention Bina. But because he left it, doesn't mean we're going to leave it. We're going to mention it. Are you with me? وَنَحْنُ نُبَيِّنُهُ لَكَ عَلَى الطَّرِيقَةِ الَّتِي بَيَّنَهَا بِهَا الْإِعْرَابَ And he said, the way we're going to clarify it is the way he clarified I'rab. The same way we're going to follow. Are you with me? The same way that the author followed in clarifying the i'rab, we're going to follow the same in clarifying the bina. Lil bina yani The bina has two meanings. Ahaduhuma lughawiyun. One of them are the linguistic meaning. Wal akhar ustilahiyun. And the other one is the technical meaning. Fa'amma ma'anahu fi lughati. As for its meaning in the, la in the linguistic is what? Ibaratun an wad'i shay' ala shay'in ala jihatin yuradu biha thubutu wal luzumu. Its linguistic meaning is placing something onto something with the intention for them to stay together and stick. Basically, in a nutshell, it means building a brick. You place a brick on another brick, and the reason why you're doing that is so you, they, you want them to stand to, strong together. Thubut, luzum. So the word bina is to build. Are you with me? Yeah. It is building. على جهة يراد بها الثبوت واللزوم وأما معناه في الصلاح As for its meaning in the technical meaning So we, we understood what it means What it means linguistically We've understood it Now we need to know what it means technically What does it mean technically? So remember, brothers, there's always a alaqa. There is always a relationship between the technical and the linguistic and the technical meaning. There is a relationship between the two. Either the technical meaning takes part of... The, it's always going to have a... The meaning of the linguistic meaning. Either some things are added to it on top of the linguistic meaning. And the technical meaning, that's how it came. Are you with me? Like, for example, the word ad dua in the salah. Are you with me? It means dua, right? Does the salah mean dua? Yeah, dua is part of it. But it's more than just dua now. Things have been added onto it. Are you with me? Very good. So the word bina, linguistically, what did it mean? وَضْعُ الشَّيْءِ عَلَى شَيْءٍ عَلَى جِهَةٍ يُرَادُ بِهَا الثُّبُوتُ وَاللُّزُومُ Here right now, the word, the meaning, the, why was the reason where you placed a brick onto another brick? What was the reason? Huh? 
على جهة يراد بها الثبوت واللزوم صح وذن بناء إن التكنيكو ميني استيو ميز اللزوم this word is consistent this word is consistent in this situation throughout every context and every sentence that it's being put into it's still luzum it's consistent upon it even that though the factors that are changing it are what are present still won't listen and it has no effect on it luzum akhir al kalimati halatan wahidatan it keeps to one situation لغير عامل ولا اعتلال وذلك كلزوم كم من السكون وكل لزوم هؤلاء وحذام وأمس الكسر وكلزوم منذ وحيث الضم وكلزوم أين وكيف الفتحة. So the Sheikh now he's saying he's giving you examples now and the examples that the Sheikh gives you are four types. Four examples. The first, so you have to write it down. The first one is what? The first example is al uh, kasr uh -huh. No, no, sukun. He gives what? He gives a sukun. So the first one is وَذَلِكَ كَلُزُومِ كَمْ وَمِنْ مِنْ and So the, it, I'm going to ask you later. The bina is four types. The first one is sukun. And what's, I'm going to ask you what's the example later. I'm going to say to you what is the example of a, a, a word that is مَبْنِ عَلَى السُّكُونَ You'll say kam and min. You will never find the word kam and min changed from the sukun. It's always sukun. Are you with me? Kam wa min. Very good. The kaluzumi kam wa min as sukun. Wa kaluzumi haulai. And the second one is what? And the second one is al kasri. And the Sheikh gave three examples for the kasri. He gave haulai, wa hadami, and he gave wa amsi. Those three. And we took in Qatru Nada Wabellu Sada Ibn Hisham's speech. The Ha'ula is what? Is Mujma'un Ali. It's unanimously agreed upon. According to the Nuhat, the grammarians, they all agree that the Ha'ula is what? Huh? Uh, they unanimously agreed upon Ha'ula. As for Hadami and Amsi, we'll come to that inshallah ta'ala in our Sharh of Qatru Nada Wabellu Sada inshallah ta'ala. Very good. وَكَلُزُومِ هَاُولَاءِ وَحَذَامِ وَأَمْسِ الْكَسْرَةِ وَكَلُ So that's the second type, which is kasra. <coughs> the third type, which is what? ضم. The author is going to bring ضم now. وَكَلُزُومِ مُنذُ وَحَيْثُ الضم. مُنذُ مُنذُ Are you with me? مُنذُ and حَيْثُ Both of them are what? مبني على الضم. They don't change from that. وَكَلُزُومِ أَيْنَ and the last one is مبني uh, على الفتح which is مبني على الفتح which is أين and كيف so the sheikh said look ومن هذا الإيضاح from that clarification تعلموا you will know أن الألقاب البناء أربعة the nicknames of إعراب are four what are they السكون والكسر والضم والفتح so he said مبني على السكون and all the time when you say we say when you mention what it's mebni on, you say manaam. Sorry, you say la mahalla lahum minal Arab because they're not mu'rab. They have no place in Arab. They're not mu'rab. They are all what? They are all mebni. They are all what? They are all mebni. Wa ba'da after bayani kulli هذه الأشياء. After clarifying all of that, لا تعصر عليك معرفة المعرب والمبني. It's not going to be hard for you to identify and to know the معرب and the مبني. فإن المعرب because the معرب is what. After that clarification, brothers and sisters, can it be hard on you? No. After that clarification, you should know what a معرب is as soon as you see it, because you know معرب is only what اسم اسم ظاهر اسم مضمر اسم مظهر اسم which is ظاهر and it's also a فعل مضارع it's a فعل مضارع as long as نون التوكيد نون النسوة is not connected to it صحيح and then you know it's a together اسم مفرد مثنى جمع تكسير جمع عن السالم جمع ذكر السالم ها أسماء الخمسة and a فعل المضارع التي لم يتصل بآخره شيء and أمثلة الخمسة those are the eight so you automatically know what معرب is 
and mabni is the rest. Mabni is the, is the rest. فَإِنَّ الْمُعْرَبَ فَإِنَّ الْمُعْرَبَ is مَا تَغَيَّرَ حَالُ آخِرِهِ لَفْضًا أَوْ تَقْدِيرًا بِسَبَبِ الْعَوَامِرِ So the mu'rab is the changing of the situation of the last ending of the word either explicit or implicit due to external factors. وَالْمَبْنِيُ As for مَبْنِي مَا لَزِمَ آخِرُهُ It is the ending of the word is consistent upon one situation حَالَةً وَاعِدَةً One situation لِغَيْرِ عَامِنٍ وَلَا اَعْتِلَالٍ Without any external factor or without any deficiency. Tamrinun exercise. After learning that, you have to learn this is an exercise. Bayin clarify. Al Mu'raba bi anwa'ihi wal mabniya. Clarify the mu'rab and its types. And the mabni. Min al kalimati wa kaati fil fil ibarati taliya. In the wordings that have fallen in the sentences that are to come. قال أعرابي أي بدو said الله يخلف ما أتلف الناس الله will exchange and give you something else in that which the people have destroyed أتلف is to destroy والدهر time يتلف will destroy ما جمعوا that which they have brought together وكم من ميت علتها طلب الحياة and how many dead their problem their 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 illness is what Looking for life. وحياتٍ a life سببها التعرض للموت a life which its reason is to present yourself to death. سأل عمر بن الخطاب عمر بن معدي كرب عن الحرب. عمر بن الخطاب he asked عمر بن معدي كرب. Remember we took this معدي كرب because we're studying grammar. We need to familiarize ourselves. معدي كرب. Remember we took. When we were studying the types of murakab, Ma'di karab is tarkib mezji. It's like ta'abbata sharran and hadra mawt. Faqala lahu, hiya murratul madaqi, idha qalasat an saqin, man sabara fiha urif, wa man da'ufa anha talif. Umar ibn al-Khattab, he asked Amr ibn Ma'di karab about war, harb. He said, hiya murratul madaqi. It is bitter in its taste. Are you with me? That is, إذا صلقت عن ساقن It's when it shows its legs. It gets ready. من صبر فيها عرف Anyone who is patient in war, he will be known. ومن ضعف عنها And anyone who is weak in it, تلف, he will be destroyed. والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى Good. And the poet's statement, إِنَّ الْعُلَى حَدَّثَتْنِي وَهِيَ صَادِقَةٌ فِي مَا تُحَدِّثُ أَنَّ الْعِزَّ فِي النُّقَلِ إِذَا نَامَ غِرٌ فِي دُجَ اللَّيْلِ فَاسْهَرِ وَقُمْ لِلْمَعَالِ وَالْعَوَالِ وَشَمِّرِ إِذَا أَنْتَ لَمْ تُقْصِرْ عَنِ الْجَهْلِ وَالْخَنَى أَصَبْتَ حَلِيمًا وَصَابَكَ جَاهِلُ إِنَّ الْعُلَى أَنَا has spoken to me. حدثتني, it told me. وهي صادقة and it's truthful. فيما تحدث it is truthful in that which it tells. What did, what was it that it told him? It told him أن العزة honor is in في النقل in movements, sitting somewhere not doing anything. That is an honor. Honor is in moving, getting from your place and doing something, moving, striving. نقل is to is to move. إذا نام غير if a youngster غير originally is the shat. The sheep, I think it's the sheep or the lamb or the goat. التي لا خبرة له that doesn't have a lot of wisdom. It's young, it's just born, it just doesn't have that. So إذا نام غير if the young unexperienced one sleeps في دجا الليل in the midst of the night. The word دجا means ظلمة الليل, the darkness of the night. فسهري you as an individual, you wake up. Don't be like him. Wake up and strive. وَقُمْ لِلْمَعَالِ Stand up from the high things. Stand up for it. وَالْعَوَالِ Awali is the urges of things. You know, if it's at the corners of the earth, go for it. وَالشَّمِّرِ Shamir is to prepare for it. It's to put a lot of dedication. And the word shamiri, as I said before, it means to lift up your clothing, to prepare. To lift it up. وَالشَّمِّرِ إِذَا أَنْتَ As if you don't. 
لم تقصر عن الجهل if you don't shorten in falling in ignorance you don't come short in it I mean you don't stay away from it والخنه خنه means foul language أصبت حليما one day you're going to afflict a person who is who has حلم حلم is forbearance آه أو أصابك جاهل or ignorance is going to come into contact with you Nah, if you think you can get away with hitting somebody or insulting somebody, okay, one time you might come into contact with a person who's for, for, who has forbearance, who will just endure your, whatever you're saying and walk, walk away from you, but then another time you might come to the wrong person and he might break your teeth. Uh, you, might, you don't get away with it all the time. Sometimes it's a halim, but then sometimes it's a jahil who's, who likes this kind of things. Yeah. So these brothers, the authors just bring in their Fawaid and Zubat from the books of the ulama. So, but you just have to get from it Al Murab and its types, the Mabni and its types. Al Sabru ala Hukuk al Muru'ati Ashaddu min al Sabri ala Alam al Hajati. Patience on the responsibilities of morality <coughs> is greater than patience upon the pain of needing something. Wadillatul Fakri, the humility of to be poor. It prevents you mani'atun min izzi sabri. It prevents you from the honor of patience. Kama, the like, the, way, the same way, an izz al ghina. The same way, the honor of richness. Mani'atun, it prevents you from what? Min karam al insafi. The generosity, fairness that is needed. It prevents you from it. As'ilatun, questions. Ma huwa al i'rab? What is i'rab? Ma huwa al bina? What is bina? ما هو المعرب what is معرب ما هو المبني so there's a difference between إعراب بناء and معرب المبني uh, we took it ما معنى تغير أواخر الكلمة what does it mean the changing of the last ending of the word إلى كم إلى كم ينقسم التغير how many types of changing is there or how many types are there our lesson started from there today ما هو التغير اللفظي what does it mean تغير اللفظي what does it mean? ما هو التغير التقديري? What does it mean? تغير التقديري? What does that mean? ما أسباب التغير التقديري? What are the causes of تغير التقديري? أذكر mention سببين two reasons مما يمنع النطق بالحركة. Mention two reasons of something that prevents you to pronounce the حركة at the end of the word. Et bring بثلاثة أمثلة. Et means what? <coughs> bring three examples uh, a kalam which is beneficial bring it but there has to be in there in every example of yours there has to be a what you have to bring a mu'rab in that example each example you have to bring three examples each example you have to have in it a ism, which is mu'rab, and it's muqaddar. And what prevented it from becoming apparent, uh, lafdi, is what? At ta'adhur. And you also said, eat it, bring. Bimithalaini, two examples. Likalamin mufidin, a speech which is mufid. Ya, fi kulli wahidin min huma, and each and every one of those two, there's an ism mu'rab. Biharakatin muqaddaratin, and it's implicit. Instead of ta'adhur before, now it has to be thiqal. The next question is what? Eti bi thalathati amthilatin. Bring three examples. For what? Li kalamin mufidin. A kalam which is mufid. Fi kulli misalin. But in every example there has to be what? Minha ismun mabni. There has to be ism which is mabni. The last one is what? Bring three examples for a sentence which is kalam mufid. And in all of those three examples, there's going to be what? Ism, mu'rab. A ism which is mu'rab. Biharakatin muqaddaratin. A haraka which is muqaddar. What prevented it like in? Mana'a min dhuhuriha al-munasabah. Munasabah is what prevented it.